all right let's start with multi yeah up and down looks good select key one press enter user has selected value one value two that's really nice let's try single okay um key one key two let's choose the the key two perfect what about the confirmation yeah i can say yes user has chosen true i can say confirmation equal to no perfect hello and welcome you must be wondering what i am doing today okay what sort of shell prompt that is it's called sagu and what's the purpose of it what language have i used to build this this um, you know terminal or shell if i tell you the whole thing is written in java and spring would you believe me enter into the world of spring shell see up to now people have used you know java spring to build mostly web based application okay so so you expose a bunch of web interfaces and then you interact with it it's always been difficult to build um you know cli type applications so whenever it comes to cli type of application what i mean by cli is like you no know, command line interface something which user can interact on a shell prompt okay or or on a command prompt so whenever somebody says okay i want to build some sort of you know cli based application java will be the last choice typical you know languages you think of like you know maybe python perl you know if you are in a unix environment like you know maybe some sort of um, shell scripting if you are in a windows environment you might be thinking of you know batch files or maybe you know the powershell etc etc but nobody thinks that you know the the whole thing or very powerful interactive cli based application can also be built in java and spring and i shown you one example just now okay you just noticed like how interactive that was and and this was just one simple example so what we will do in today's video we will try to look at what spring shell is okay and how can you build a spring shell application yourself okay this is a complete hands on tutorial okay so we will start right from the beginning and uh, we'll we'll basically create a new project you know and we'll build our our um, uh, some commands okay and then then we'll try to run it all right so let's let's get started first thing what you want to do is you would like to go to start.spring.io okay so we can we can create uh, what you say empty or shell uh, project so go to um, start.spring.io fill these details okay and after that hit generate what i have done uh, just few minutes ago i have actually done this this thing uh, for us so you know i don't kind of spend time um, doing this this boilerplate type of stuff all right so i exported this project just few minutes ago and i opened the the project in my favorite ide okay and uh, you can use any ide you want and if you see the pom.xml the first thing you will notice over here is uh, there is a new dependency called spring shell starter that's good enough to to kick start our work because this is kind of a learning uh, journey for us all right so we can close pom.xml at this point net now what we want to do is we would like to build our very first hello world or hello command let's let's call it all right so few things uh, i i would like to kind of clarify over here in terms of concepts so there are bunch of things you you need to understand okay so very much like a you know spring bean we used to decorate with you know component or service or configuration etc etc for beans you know which needs to be working as as a shell beans we need to put a notation called shell component all right so that's the only thing you need to do so once you've done the shell component now you're telling spring that okay this particular bean should be registered as a java bean obviously but this is for like you know shell related stuff after that we will just write a very simple method i'm just going to say public void 
actually let's return something public string call it hello it needs to consume a variable okay let's call it string and we we call it some sort of argument okay so i have written my public method now i need to expose this method as a command what is a command command is the word you will be using or invoking from your prompt all right so if i call it shell method that's it so i have done my shell method one more thing we need to do now is we need to say i am going to consume this argument from this method okay if you remember like you no know, when we write uh, you know rest controller etc you you have to specify path param or path you know arguments etc in a similar fashion over here i will be doing at shell option all right i have simply said this is a shell option so automatically this particular argument which i'm passing can be consumed all right let's go cool that sounds good so now if we go back to our application over here what we want to do is we simply want to say return hello and let's say instead of calling this is user so we are saying hello user from the spring shell world how about that okay perfect so our first command is ready to go okay so let's let's try to execute this particular command and see how it how it looks on on our console so at this point i'm simply going to run spring shell application in my intellij okay it's going to compile do the download etc etc all right it has done that so if i say hello jss there you go our first command is working successfully since you have written a first command from here now you can build any complex use case you want for example you would like to upload a file to server using a shell prompt i could have written a command which says cp file name and maybe the service name i can download stuff from the from the internet yeah very simply i can say download and give give the location of the maybe web service all right and then i can say maybe copy copy to this this particular stuff so you can just imagine now how powerful this this whole thing is you know the spring shell and very nicely using the power of java and and spring you know you don't need to learn new new uh, scripting language or or new model or whatever just using the the power of java you can build really nice powerful interactive applications all right so that's what i wanted to show you today i what i have done in in background i have built a couple of examples for you which i was like you know uh, which i was showing you earlier i will post a link to my repo you can clone it you can play uh, yourself we don't have to stay here and just just watch me like you no know, writing the whole whole bunch of code okay it's most, mostly like you no know, copy paste and and after that you just just build your use cases all right so before we finish let's just quickly have a look uh, so what we wanted to do we wanted to do maybe multi select so i have written a command called multi who would have thought in java you can write like you no know, interactive applications like this yeah so so there are three things going on over here one we have printed a, a bunch of options for user to choose secondly you notice in the middle i have kind of you know graded this out i said look this is a default option it it has to be there i'm just trying to show the the power of like you know um, uh, the spring shell multi select component which i have built what you can do now if if you want to choose say first item i can just press space there you go it has selected i can press again that's gone 
this is not a web ui or 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 anything it's a pure <laughs> shell prompt where we are writing all this good stuff let's let's do that press enter voila it's, it's working perfect okay i think we saw a single as well key one key two how awesome is that do i have something called login probably not okay so I think what I have done is I you must be wondering can I mask this thing that thing yes you can do that so I think I have got something called login command what we can do is we can um, try to build our application okay one more time and hopefully our login will be working as well let's clean it okay one more thing I forgot to tell you, Spring Shell comes with, you know, a, a bunch of predefined commands as well. Okay, so if you would like to know what are the predefined commands, what you can simply do is you can press help. Help does two things. One, it shows the built in commands, as you can see over here, like you now it's saying help, displays the help, stack trace, you know, clear, quit, history, version, blah, blah, blah. After that, it will start printing all the commands you have built yourself. So if you remember a few minutes ago, we have built hello command. It is printing. After that, I built interactive commands, you know, sorry, interactive components, single, you know, confirmation multi. Just now we have enabled our login. So let's see what login can do for us. So if I just invoke login, so what is login means? Let's say before, you know, starting the shell, I, I want user to login. So maybe I can take the credentials. And so next time when I'm interacting with external web services, I can pass that detail. So if I say login, give me some name, JSS, okay, password. So just notice one thing. If when I'm printing the password, it's been masked. Okay, you can look at my code, how I have done the masking. So you can kind of, you know, uh, copy paste and, and build that, that type of use case. So if I press enter over here, it's saying login fail. Reason being because I have given the wrong uh, password. So if I try to give the right password this time, there you go, it's saying logged in. All right. Okay, so that's pretty much I wanted to show today. Okay, um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick session today and uh, you will be able to build um, spring shell based CLI application and uh, you will be able to kind of you know fulfill some some of the use cases which you have been doing using other scripting languages I will see you in the other video thank you for watching